3D video technologies and content creation have over the last years become mature enough for broad commercialization. For certain application scenarios such as 3D cinema, they are already widely accepted by audiences, creating significant box office revenues. However, 3D-capable consumer electronic devices such as TV sets or portables are not yet that successful. One reason is that most such devices require the viewers to wear some sort of shutter or polarization glasses. While audiences might be willing to wear such glasses in the cinema, they are an inconvenience at home and definitely very cumbersome in combination with mobile devices. This is where auto stereoscopic multi-view displays offer a viable alternative. These displays can project several views of the same scene into different directions. One can therefore see two different views at the same time, and this enables one to perceive 3D without glasses. But these views either have to be captured with several cameras, which is often not feasible, or they have to be generated from stereoscopic content using multi-view synthesis. The problem is that such methods are computationally very demanding. Stereo 3D has been a major research focus for us here at Disney Research Zurich over the last years. And image domain warping is our key invention in this context. It is already widely used on the content creation side and in production. However, to make it useful also on portable devices and displays, efficient hardware implementation is necessary. Disney Research and the Integrated Systems Laboratory at ETH Zurich have been closely collaborating in order to optimize the algorithms towards hardware efficiency and to build a proof-of-concept prototype. The warping-based method works as follows. First, the input video is analyzed. Salient image regions, edges and corresponding points between the two views are identified. By solving an optimization problem, two image warps are computed and these are then interpolated to the correct view position. Finally, the virtual views are rendered and interleaved. This is a mobile system on chip, like the one in your cell phone. The developed hardware accelerator would add only around 9 square millimeters to such a system, allowing you to experience movies in multi-view 3D even on portable devices. This is a brilliant example of what can be achieved when research into signal processing algorithms is combined with implementation know-how in microelectronics. Ultimately, this will make it possible to obtain so much computing power from less than 2 watts.